Welcome back to my exam coaching classes. Today we are going to learn a very important topic that is how to convert decimal numbers into fraction which is a very common topic for all competitive exams okay whether you are applying for RRB or IA, uh, IBPS, SSC, Staff Selection Commission for every competitive exams it is a common topic. So today's topic is how to convert a decimal number into a fraction and I bet you can do it within 10 seconds. Let it be any question, you can do it within 10 seconds. So, let us solve it with some good examples. Okay. So, what is our topic today? Our topic is conversion from decimal number to fraction. So, what we are going to do is conversion from decimal to fraction. Let us start it with an example. For example, 0.12 bar you want to convert it into a fraction 0.12 bar and i'm sure you all know what is the meaning of 0.12 bar bar number indicates the digits on which bar is given these numbers are repeating okay so let us do it with the, the conventional method what we have learned in schools and colleges okay here 0.12 bar means 0 0.121212 like that that those digits on which bar is there these digits are repeated okay so let us take this this is the given question let us take this is equal to x so x is equal to what x is equal to 0 0.121212 like that it goes this is the method we have learned in your school now how many digits are repeating two digits are repeating when two digits are repeating you have to multiply this number by 100 suppose only one digit is repeating you have to multiply it by 10 suppose three digits are repeating you have to multiply it by 1000 and so on so in this question we have only two digits are repeating so we need to multiply this number both the side left hand side as well as right hand side by a number 100 so when i multiply 100 here this will become what 100 x x multiplied by 100 you will get 100 x when i multiply this part that is right hand side by 100 what i will get this decimal will move to two digit right hand side so i'll get 12.121212 like that it goes isn't it now what is the next step the next step is from 100 x you will subtract 1 x from 12.121212 you will subtract 0 0.121212 etc so what actually we do here is we are subtracting the first equation from the second equation when i subtract x from 100x i will get 99x 100x minus x 99x here what i'll get 12 minus 0 i'll get 12 right hand side after the point here also it is 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to here also it is 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 to you can get cancel it so 12 minus 0 becomes 12 now you got 100 99 x is equal to 12 so i want what i want x so x is equal to 12 by 99 so this is the answer what is actually x x we have taken the given question 0 0.12 so this decimal can be expressed in fraction form 12 by 99 so this is our answer so when we have learned in our schools and colleges we used to follow this method but if you follow this method in your competitive exams that's it you will not get any score because answer is correct you will be using a lot consuming a lot, lot of time so what is a shortcut method where you can find out the answer within five seconds or within maximum 10 seconds you can find out the answer you need not to do all these things you just see how many digits are repeating Two digits are repeating so when two digits are repeating so you will get denominator 99 and what are the two digits put it on the top so this is the answer one and two are the two digits repeating so make it as 12 remove the bar and write it 12 and under that to get the denominator how many digits are repeating here two digits are repeating so you put just 99 if only one digit is repeating put 9 if three digits are repeating, put 999. Nine, nine. If four digits are repeating, put four, four, four nines. Like that it goes. Here two digits are repeating, so we will put 99. Isn't it? So you got the answer. So for example, I will tell you 0 0.14 bar. So what will be the answer? 14 by 99. 
If I take an example, 0 0.27 bar. Remember, I am putting bar on both the digits. If the bar is only on one digit, then the method changes. We will come to that. 0 0.27 bar. How much? What will be the fraction equivalent to this? It will be 27 by 99. I am taking 0 0.68 bar. Bar on both the numbers. So, I will get 68 by 99. So, whenever you have numbers like this, you can just remove the bar, put the number on the numerator and put 99 on the denominator. This is the method. You can not it. So, let us go with some different examples. So, I hope you understood this. So, this is a common method. Okay. Now, let us see what will happen if we have a decimal with three numbers and bar on only two numbers. For example, let us take a number 0 0.731 bar. 0 0.731 bar bar is only for 3 and 1 okay this is a different question 0 0.731 bar is only for 3 1 now we will see what is the shortcut method later what is the equivalent fraction let us solve it using your school method what is the school method first we will take x is equal to 0 0.7 3 1 3 1 3 1 3 1 like that it goes because only bar is given only for 3 1 so only 3 1 will be repeating now first what we will do there are one there is one number one digit 7 which is not repeating so you have to convert that into this side for that only one digit is there we will multiply this by 10 first so we have when you multiply this by 10 here you will get a 10 next here you will get 7.313131 continuing now you can see after 7 how many digits are repeating two digits are repeating whenever two digits are repeating you have to multiply it by what you have to multiply it by 100 so when i multiply this side by 100 this will become 10 multiplied by 100 will become 1000 x here 7.31 when i multiply by 100 this will become 731.313131 it goes like this now the method remains same what we have done in the previous question you have to subtract this number this line from this line so 1000 x minus 10 x you will get 990 x 1000 x minus 10 x you will get 990 x here after decimal you can cancel everything after decimal the same number repeats you cancelled 731 minus 731 minus 7 so you got how much 731 minus 7 724 you got 724. 990x is equal to 724. So, what is x? x is equal to 724 by 990. So, this is your answer. If you can cancel it with the common terms like 2 and all, you can cut it and write the answer. You have to check whether this option is given in your question or you can cut it with uh, uh, 2 and you will get simplify it. That answer may be there in your option that you have to check. But this is the method of finding out the answer. Now, we will go to the shortcut method. What is the shortcut method? You got 724 by 990. Just I will tell you how to do this. You need not to do all this calculation. These calculations are not required for your competitive exams. You have to do it in shortcut method only. Then only you can save your time and then only you can score high mark. So, this is school method, okay, where you will get 4 mark or 5 mark in your exam sheets. But in competitive exams, it is a race against time. You have to be very, very fast. So, what is the shortcut method? How fast you can come, find, come to this answer? You just see 731. Write 731 without bar. Now, how many digits are repeating? Two digits are repeating. Put a 99 below. Then 7 is without bar. Subtract that 7. Since one digit is repeating, put a 0 here. That's it. Understood? What I have done? I will repeat it once again that step. You have 731. 31 is the repeating. So, two digits are repeating means put a 99 on the bottom first. Two digits are repeating. Put a 99. What is the number without bar? 731. Write that 731 here. Then, what is the number without bar? 7. Subtract that 7. Only one digit is there without bar. Put a 0. Only one 0. Because only one digit is here. So, what, what is 731 minus 7? 7, 724 divided by 990. 
So this is the answer we got here also. So so you can make the answer. So this is one of the very very important technique and this is a common common topic for all competitive exams. Okay, practice it well so that you can score more mark. Please note it. Fine. So we'll go with some more examples and we will solve the questions. Okay, so what is our next question? For example, I can say 0 0.17 bar, 0 0.17 bar. Now you can easily find out, you got the method, 0 0.17 bar, here how many, I need not to go for a school method or college method now, I am going for shortcut method. How many digits are repeating? Only one. So you have only one digit repeating means only one nine in the denominator. Without the bar, how many digits are there? One digit, so put a zero. Then without bar if you write the number is 17 and the 1 is subtracted from here so you got 16 by 90 so this number 0 0.17 bar bar is only for 7 is equal to 16 by 90 so this decimal part you have converted into fraction this is the method of converting decimal numbers into fraction numbers one more example i am writing 0 0.24 bar so without bar it is 24 and the number without the bar is 2, subtract it. Only one number is having bar, so put as 9. And one number without bar, put 0. So 24 minus 2, 22 by 90 is the answer. Isn't it? Similarly, we will take one more example. 80423 bar. 0 0.8423 bar. 0 0.8423 bar. So what will be the answer? You have 1, 2, 3, 3 numbers having bar, so 3 nines. Then on the top and one more number without bar, put a 0. Top without bar full number, 8, 4, 2, 3. 8, 4, 2, 3. Minus, what is the number without bar? 8. So you will get answer, 8, 4, 23 minus 8, 15. 8, 4, 1, 5 upon 9, 9, 9, 0. This is the fraction equivalent to this. And I hope you understood this method. Isn't it? So, students, you can practice this method. It is one of the very important topic. Again, I am repeating. Okay. And we will meet again with more videos and new topics in the coming days. Okay. Prepare well. Take care. Bye-bye.